Horatius lived in Rome. His 20th century namesake, the giant Imperial Airways liner Horatius, arrives at Croydon Aerodrome, bringing to England from Rome the newly married royal couple, Prince Alessandro Torlonia and his bride, formerly the Infanta Beatrice, daughter of King Alfonso. They leave Croydon to call upon the Infanta's mother, Queen Ina, in London before continuing their honeymoon trip to the United States. The Edgar Wallace, hull trawler, which sank in the Humber with a loss of 13 lives, must not become a menace to shipping, using this great waterway. She is raised from the river bed, and the pumps on the stern of the salvage boat work at high pressure. The crew will haul up the diver, who emerges above the water after an inspection of the trawler's damage. West Ham Stadium is the scene of a new dog racing experiment. Rubber matting, laid down in two foot squares, replaces the usual grass track. Greater consistency and speedier running of greyhounds are claims for this new type track. Doctor, would you mind examining these dogs for me? Certainly. Adjust. That one's perfect. I think your rubber mats will be a success. Oh, that's a very satisfactory report. I'm very pleased. Thank you very much. <coughs> So many Belisha beacons have been smashed in London by skylarking youths that the Minister of Transport is not taking any more chances. The beacons are now being made of aluminium and are turned out in thousands at a Birmingham factory. Mr. Belisha hopes that these bubbles will not burst. Philadelphia, city of beer and steel, stages one of those lively and grotesque processions which are the joy of all good businessmen. A carnival spirit captures the great annual Mummers Parade, treating the gangsters rough in a burlesque of what was once America's nightmare. Hello. Yes, I think you're right. They jump to it. <laughs> 